is the future now? Electric cars, you can plug them into the wall like a cell phone. So, who came up with this idea? How does the technology work? We have to take a trip to the past. If you think electric cars are a 21st century invention, think again. Petroleum-driven engines came at the same time as electric-powered motors. Petroleum-driven engines are the ones that run on fossil fuels like diesel and gas. In 1828, a Hungarian engineer Anjos Jedlik invented the first prototype of the electric motor and used it to power a small car. The idea of a better powered vehicle was to revolutionize people's lives for the better. However, primary batteries were not the way to go for obvious reasons. They needed too many batteries to run the motor over long distances at such low speeds. In 1891, the US created the first advanced electric vehicle. It was a six passengers wagon that could go up to 23 km per hour. Hey, that was major back then. People loved it. In 1890s, many taxis in London were electric. At that time, electric cars had many advantages over steam and gas engines. They didn't vibrate, they didn't give off that awful burning gasoline, but we all know, and they didn't require much effort to start. By the early 1900s, almost one third of cars in the US were electric. In the late 1920s vehicles were required to go further more efficiently, so fuel powered cars took the lead. To have an idea, the top speed an electric car could go was about 24 to 32 km per hour and needed charging every couple of hours. So, did electric cars fail? Electric cars took their final hit in 1910, when Henry Ford began his mass production of gas cars, which made them cheaper compared to electric-driven ones. As a result, companies stopped producing electric cars. In the 21st century, we have advancement in technology and the concept of green energy. Automobile companies have decided to manufacture electric cars again. Fossil fuels are non-renewable resources. They are formed from the decays of living organisms that fell into the oceans millions of years ago, and this means they will run out one day. The difference between electric and fossil-fueled cars is that the e-cars use a variety of renewable resources to generate their electricity. What is the science behind EVs? The science behind electric cars is simple. The EVs work based on the principles of alternating current. We thank Nikola's Tesla for the alternating current. What is the difference between alternating current and direct current and electric current is the movement of an electric charge that carries electrons. In a simple way, it is the flow of electrons. In DC, electrons flow in one direction only. In alternating current the electrons periodically consistently change. This is all electric power in your home, from your microwave to game console. Electric cars convert the direct current electricity for the batteries into any alternating current. Electric cars function by plugging into a charge point and taking electricity from the grid. They store the electricity in rechargeable batteries that power an electric motor, which turns the wheels. What is the range? How far you can travel on a full charge depends on the vehicle. Each model has a different range, battery size and efficiency. The perfect electric car for you will be the one you can use for your normal journeys without having to stop and charge up halfway through. Electric cars have 7000 lithium-ion batteries that are placed under the flooring. The batteries have longer lifespan and higher power density. To prevent overheat and thermal breakdown, electric cars come with coolant running between batteries. At the back of the car you find the inverter, which converts DC to AC, and gives power to the engine. The inverter needs an induction motor that take AC and creates a rotating magnetic field that causes the motor to run. Electric cars are automatic, they don't have a gearbox or lever. They have a single speed transmission that transforms electrical energy into mechanical energy. When you accelerate while driving, electric car uses more energy. However, when you brake, the energy is transformed into electricity through the induction motor. Then the electricity travels all the way back to the battery pack and stored so you can use it later. Now, that's efficient. In the next video we will compare diesel cars and electric ones, based on mileage, maintenance cost and more. Subscribe to be notified.